Joe. Ten minutes. I guess that, huh? Ten minutes. <laughs> you gonna fall asleep on First time I came up here and camped out. Two times during that weekend, I was drinking a bottle of water early in the morning. First morning, y'all barely seen me with a bottle of water. We well, don't have a bottle of water. I'm taking medicine. <laughs> <laughs> and the next morning, the very next morning, Gary Bowline sees me about eight in the morning. What are you doing with that bottle of water? I'm taking medicine. I threw it down and got a beer. <laughs> Yeah. 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 Yeah.
I use the root of the mine. I see seafood gumbo, and you can ask Sunday. You can make my root where it's what? Black. I know. But you know what? It's got a distinct taste. And I know not everybody. That's good. That's good. Because I like it. I like going around to different places and tasting it. I always like it. Because if I think I gumbo, I'm learning. I'm learning. Okay. Yeah, I think yeah. you didn't like yeah. the rope much, man. I'm glad you didn't the rope. That's right here. I know. Too much for these Oklahoma people. No. Kill. Not you. Oh, that's a little different. You need to come down to our place. And bring Jim up to talk about you. Oh, I won't sell them. You're better for it. The gators get me? Louisiana. Uh, depending on the time of year. Hang out with them. Why can I take a nap? No, you can take a nap when I want to. I said drop your hand. I haven't had them in the yard, though. Yeah. No, that's all the way. Oh, well, I got a neighbor working. Yeah. He can make it on the he got, way. I got a pond in my backyard. He he can make it on the way. Every once in a while, he's here. Dallas is not on the way. He's brother in law. Texas. He's not on the way. 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 He's Something never probably get completed. Yeah, no. <laughs> no, we fish a lot. I said, well, we can sell them. We go to the place. Like and and that sounds like a plan to me. That sounds like a plan to me. Exactly. I didn't they want to go while I was pregnant. And they, 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 they kind of lost their fear of humans a little bit. Because I guess a lot of people are feeding them. Hey, you should start, um, you should just smoke pot, you know, the plan that gets this far enough. Yeah, smoke yep. the pot. You smoke 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 the pot. Well, yeah. 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 He said, well, why is dirty? No, and a half. Whatever, you know. At, that was at the end of the day. The end of the day, he goes. So the end of the day, Friday. He goes. So why is my check short like a half an hour? Was it 10 bucks? I said, you going to go die my ass? But, but, Jason, think about it. I said, I said, you can cross me like this. I said, hey, hey, hey. 
But think about it. At the end of the week, is ten dollars from making a difference in your lifestyle? Oh. <laughs> yeah. Easy way. Easy way. You really like it. Sure. I told him I said as much as stuff you messed up. Go ahead, Nathan. Yeah. 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 Tonight? My, my nephew is having a sleepover. She wants to know how, what time she should make him go to bed. And no. They just say it's late and it's a bed. I think so, but they're angry. Oh? She already wanted a drink during the regular party. Hey, Mama! Tell her they get to stay up, dude. So why don't we call the bears at the show? No. Ready? Woo! No, her dad's in the house. Ready? Yeah. Ready. Bears at her dad's house. She just turned in. everybody welcome to the bottle cap tonight this is uh, pretty cool and we even got some new people again tonight it's kind of like a routine here every time we have a show here it's like we get new people so um, and if you're not aware this is being streamed live so if you have friends you want to like text them let them know they can watch it they can do it here pretty much live it's on YouTube go to the bottle cap barn live and it'll have these guys featured or you can go look at other shows too so basically what we do is uh, we just pass a hat a couple times tonight and the money that you uh, give into the hat goes to the artist. Most of you know that, but the new one, that's kind of how it works here. So, um, you know, it's just kind of a joy to get these. I've, I've, I've seen uh, Dustin play a couple of times, but it's been always fun to have a new artist in the house too. And, and uh, Hallie Ann, I've not played here before. This is her first time, so we're excited about that. And to get two of them to play here together tonight. So uh, without further ado, I'd like to introduce you guys to Dustin Welsh and Haley Ann Finley. Thank you guys. Yeah, I've been uh, I've known about this gig for quite a while. We're really happy to be here. In fact, uh, it was mostly through the mud bugs and guitars deal they got down uh, outside of Houston and, uh, and those folks always they contribute to this organization I started probably about seven years ago or so called Soldier Song Voices where we give instruments to armed forces veterans and yeah. give music lessons and kind of a, a form of music therapy essentially but um, <clears throat> but they've been a big supporter of, of our organization and in fact, actually, this first song I'll start you off with kind of came from working with uh, a lot of these uh, returning uh, men and women. I do, one of the first things I noticed was just how difficult it was for them to be able to keep their, their relationships intact and keep their families together. And I was just hearing all sorts of pretty, you know, hard stories from folks, and it was weighing on me pretty heavy one day, and, and our friend John Fulbright was down in Austin. I went and met him before his gig uh, over this this old place called Don's Depot, and we just went in the back room and started working on this thing. Um, so, so this is, uh, yeah, directly from 
from that Soldier Song Voices program, really. It's called yeah. Paranoid Park. A little more vocal. Casinos, not a whole lot of gas stations. So uh, 
kind of ran out of gas that day. And sure enough, you know, somebody in the audience here probably was the guy pulled over, took me to the gas station down the road, and I was back on the road in no time. So I was lucky for that. So thank you guys. Thank you, Oklahoma. <laughs> Because you guys gave me a song. I jumped in on the passenger side of the first car that came to a stop. Looked at the driver and said, Thanks for the ride. This is really gonna help me a lot. Don't really know how I got here. Driving away, so distracted by the atmosphere. You know I didn't even look at the gauge. Yeah, but I guess I've got reason to believe that someone is watching for me. Although both my folks are from here in Oklahoma, but uh, but my father, being a songwriter, uh, raised us kids there in Nashville while he was trying to make a living writing songs, and, and so subsequently, all of you know everybody that we knew were musicians. So all of all of my friends were all you know music biz kids, music robe rats, we called ourselves, I guess. Including, uh, and so we, we had a, a band uh, of a bunch of us, you know, uh, uh, probably a good, I don't know, five, six years or something. 
called ourselves the Swindlers, uh, <coughs> and uh, included uh, Steve Earle's son, Justin Towns Earle. So, uh, so I'll show you the very first song that me and Justin ever wrote. We were probably uh, 17, 18 years old. It's called The Lower East Side. over there and the song I'm going to play next is on there but I've added a verse so everybody here tonight gets the new verse and everybody tuned in on the YouTube gets the new verse so congratulations it's a nice hat Between a piano and a fish. 
I guess, what do you call a fish with two knees? That's what I heard. A two knee fish, you know. Dustin Welch on the banjo right here. And like I said, this is a, a song of the record. You don't need me with a little extra quick for you guys. <laughs>
walks down the boulevard heading into town and when the big sky falls I'll be running from the bunkers with a set of better laws and when the tar pits burn I'll be swallowing the sinners I will regularly confirm and when the church bells chime oh I'll still be your jolly 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 to admit, 
It's been a long time, but once in a while you still cross my mind like an old song that's stuck in my head. I try to forget it, but I sing it instead. Those rose-colored memories flow through my mind like autumn leaves, and now I'm still in hate Ashbury. But you've moved on ahead. Strawberry wine, gypsy clothes. This is the season of highs and lows. Get on the bus, see where it goes. Set that steering free. Out all night, sleep till noon. Wake up on the couch in the living room. Don't say that you're leaving soon. No, say you'll stay with me. I have to admit that it's been a long time, but once in a while you still cross my mind. Here's a song. I haven't recorded this or anything really, and, and don't play it very often, but it's kind of the mood for it. Uh, but it's uh, something my dad and I wrote a little while back. It's called Road to Paradise.
to see how search for salvation and bleed to be free. Let us pray that virtue is never ruled by vice. Out along the long and winding road to Sometimes the road gets low down, it gets bitter cold and dark. It leads you down back alleys and makes all the bad dogs bark. There are things we choose to carry, the things we sacrifice. As we stumble down the road to paradise, I am sorry, never sold up. I could not make it right. For a lot of people here I just met for the first time, but tonight I get to meet the famous John Finley Brassfield sitting in the front row. Pretty proud. All right, well, um, this next song I wrote a couple of years ago, and I think I have better stories about other songs. There's no real joke about it. This is just a song of mine. And it's for the listening. It wasn't a surprise to see you leaving. No, you didn't stay too long. Like you woke up from a dream and see the place you don't know. Love your eyes and satisfy it. And your body is warm than that. I woke up cold this morning, though. Something just ain't right. Well, you
Two horses side by side. They both profess to be my only guide. And each one's fast and shall the foot they race. And when one takes off, the other keeps the pace. Yeah, we ride behind two horses side by side. While the older horse, whose pride was lost in you, tries to lead me down the righteous path of truth. But both those faithful horses have their wings. They were born with strengths and weaknesses that blend. I used to ride them both along most everywhere. But it takes both horses now to get me there. Now I ride behind two horses, swift and strong. The first horse tries to break loose on his own. To leave the beaten path, he calls a jail. While the other horse prefers to keep the trail Oh, I will ride behind two horses jointly bound Both of our ways fed and watered down Now I talk to the men and keep them pointed south
I ride behind two horses pulling slow They are harnessed but they're always in control Should I ask them both to pick up speed Oh, they prepare themselves in tandem to stampede. Yeah, Lord, you know them well and you know me. We are bred to love and cry out to be free. I will try to understand them like I do you. For they were born. Inside a stable too. I will try to understand them like I do want you. For they were born inside a stable too. I believe we're going to play one more song and then take a short break. That's right. So everybody on there on the internet, you can all go to the bathroom and we'll be back. They're all, they're all ready to I've been switching the set list a whole bunch, but that's how us songwriters often do. That's why you make a set list so you can say, well, I want to switch it around. And I'm definitely representing in that field today by switching everything around. But, you know, uh... There's no way they're going to put that on all of them. Absolutely. Yeah. Do it. Yeah. 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 We, we're going to see how the second set goes that they let us. We're going to put our set list on the wall. Here's a newer song. Uh, it's not recorded yet or anything. My buddy Marshall Anderson's threatening to put it on his record, but we'll just have to see. All my life I looked for answers. All I ever found lies. I had given up on asking. I knew the truth would come with time. But the truth was right here in front of me, just waiting my whole life.
Please let them know that we'll be right back after this week. Thank <laughs> you. 
If you haven't donated, they have it up here. So, like I said, all the money that you donate goes to the band, so they'll appreciate that. So, if you have a guitar and you want to stay after, we'll be doing some jamming. So, that's always fun to do. And uh, if you're still hungry, there's plenty of food back here. So, uh, I want to get these guys back up here on the stage here and do us another set. We would just really have enjoyed. So, Justin Welch coming up here with Haley Ann Finley. Appreciate it. Come on up, guys. Thank you. so so great for doing this bottle cap barn house concert i mean it feels like i'm at i'm in wicked box texas meets like cheetah street meets i don't even know are we still are, we're, not, we're not in oklahoma anymore i don't even know but uh it's really cold outside tonight and it's really warm in here there's some delicious gumbo all the way from louisiana in the back room so we're just lucky having such a good time
wrote this song with my dad several years ago. It's called uh, I'm on my way to get you off my mind. It all started when I mentioned your name. I was singing one of your sad songs. He said he could never be what he used to be. I couldn't blame him for thinking he could set me free like a bird who would never see the sky. I didn't want to leave the cage just to die. And you were long gone. Searching Circus that they shoot out of the cannon. I, so, so I'm gonna write this thing. It's called Cannonball Girl. And I wrote this with a, a, a just amazing songwriter out of Nashville named Mark Jamino. Like lousy cocaine 
The congregation stood to see her when they heard that wedding song. But they all began to whisper like they knew something was wrong. And he was standing at the altar wondering why she was late. But someone handed him a letter. And his hands began to shake. But no, that's left now is that letter. And there's nothing left to say. She's on the road to California for some Show you another song that me and uh, John Fulbright wrote. This was on his very first record. He came over to the house one night. He he said, uh, you know, I, I, I just want I want to write write a song for. God's perspective, <laughs> but I wanted to be a real vengeful asshole of a God. Hey, that I can help you with. Give a wow. 
funny. I I was living right next to the railroad tracks, and and I, when we got up to where we needed a bridge, John conveniently decided he needed to go run and put a, a quarter on the railroad tracks, which he had never done because he's from Okima. <laughs> <laughs> But, but he just kind of like left me with the bridge, you know, and so by the time we got back, I, I was like, well, you know, here's, I, I did this. And he was like, okay, well, cool, well, I'm going to get a flat quarter out of this, so I'm all right with that. <laughs> all right, um, I'm going to play you guys another new song. And all my new songs don't get official titles till they're recorded, so right now this is the John Cusack song. <laughs> With the Beach Boys sing along part at the end, but I'd like all of you to participate in. Yes. They would joke about it. participation. Thank you, Ryan, over there for helping out. Officially on record. Doing a good job. Yeah. Yeah. 
no air fresheners. <laughs> if you guys didn't know, out there in the internet world, the gumbo back there, there's got to be the best shrimp. It's not overcooked. Delicious, like, what is it, andouille sausage? Just sausage. And then I uh, kept hearing people back there talking about, like, is this chicken? What, what is this? <laughs> we don't know. <laughs> Mud bugs and oysters in this gumbo. So you don't even have to do the work. It's just right there. You just spin it in your mouth. It's awesome. Yeah. yeah. I, don't, I don't know. Do they have gumbo in Australia? Probably with some alligator in it. Crocodile. 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 Croc
everybody had a really good time tonight. Woo! Woo! Yeah. Me and I, me and my dad, uh, right. Kevin. Thank you. Um, we did have it kind of at the last minute. Uh, uh, a couple of the the gals from the band, the Trishes, had come out to the house, and we were writing with them, and, and I took Jamie Wilson out uh, to the porch showed her that because we were like me and my dad had it about that close but we were missing something and Jamie just went well why don't you just go whoa 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 <laughs> that's brilliant okay. <laughs> yeah you get a third of the publishing Jamie Lynn Wilson is pretty brilliant yes if you guys haven't already discovered her make sure you get on the internet and check her out Jamie Lynn Wilson she is Absolutely. Yeah, she's home. Yeah, yeah. she'll be at Cimarron. Yeah, all those Trisha gals are extra special. Especially one of them that's real close to our hearts right now, even though she's in Colorado. Yes, my sister, Savannah. Um, yeah, we were, uh, so, we're in Oklahoma because uh, my father and his new Australian bride and her children are in the country and they're getting married next month and so he would, he wanted to take them on a road trip and take them all kind of through the southeast and get to Tennessee go see Graceland I think they're taking taking them to Dollywood even it's the, the littlest the littlest kid there's there's two twin children six-year-old children and I uh, and I uh, Charlotte is just completely obsessed with Dolly Parton, so they decided, all right, <laughs> let's see what Dolly looks like then. So, but kind of in the in the process, they, he he was booking some gigs, including uh, the Blue Door last night, and rather than us going and getting in the car with them for three weeks with a couple, yeah, a, a bunch of kids and, and everything, we were like, you know, we'll just we'll drive up. And we'll just hang out in Oklahoma and, and book some other gigs. And these folks were gracious enough to, to allow us to be here tonight. Um. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, because it, 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 at first, at first, Savannah and. Her son, my nephew Charlie, were going to be along also, um, but but that didn't work out. So unfortunately, we, we didn't have her along either this time. But uh, but we'll all be back for sure. Awesome. Woo, woo. Yeah. Woo. Well, and I'll see some of y'all at Mudbugs. Uh, and when is that? Uh, Tomorrow. Uh, yeah, twenty seventh May. Yeah, yeah, I'll be coming down with some of the soldier songs and voices, folks. Yeah, big time. Are you going to be cooking? I'm going to be playing. Oh, that's exciting. Yeah. That's right. That sounds awesome. And then we'll also be back up for Woody Fest also later in the summer. All right, well, this is the, gonna, this is the last song I'm playing tonight, and... Um, this is also not available on any of the records, so everybody's getting a special treat uh, to get to hear it on the internet and in person here right now. So enjoy it. It's about heartbreak and all those favorite things that we just love listening to. Country and Western. All kinds of music. <laughs> really do enjoy yourselves tonight. We just love Oklahoma, and thank you. Thank you, Lainey. Thank you, Ben and Alicia. I'm really glad everybody's having a good time. And it's warm and it's not cold. It's, oh, it's three days till May and it's cold outside. I just can't believe it. So this is called Don't Remind Me. Every time I see your face, I'm 
know I already said too much. Yourself under control. The furnace is burning somewhere down below. Or oh, you can hear the turning of the gearbox echo. Cause you are watching through the windows and they're shaking down your spine. They will step on you the second you trigger that line. Or catch you in the clouds. It's just a matter of time.